Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Monday, April 26th, 2021, and we are on day 116 of the 2021 edition of the Game of Life. There's 365 days in this edition of the Game of Life, and we're on day 116. Now, you know, we always start off the year so excited and thrilled to be uh, doing something new. We've got to be able to keep that, either that excitement up or be able to become a very consistent person without the need for excitement all of the time to keep you going. How about just the fact that consistency works and that should keep you going? So if you have not been playing along for a minute with us in this game, we're almost a third of the way through of this edition of the Game of Life. What are you going to do with it? Let's play and play hard. Let's lose the weight. Let's learn how to exercise that self-discipline muscle and let's get it going. When you hop on here this morning, please say good morning, where you're watching from and what type of Shibboleth day you are having. I am having a perfect day, an intermittent fasting day. And I've got a bag full of food right here that I'm going to show you what I am eating today. And Daisy's in my lap, and I'm going to put her down because she wants down. But I want you to see how messy she is. Look, look at this. She's been digging in holes, like little rabbit holes and stuff. And she's just, and she needs a haircut really bad. And she's getting a haircut tomorrow. So I want to show you the great difference. <laughs> I'll show you on Wednesday. But she is a mess. But you remember when she was sick, she, um, I didn't cut her a hair or anything or do anything with her, with her. All we were doing was taking care of that. And now she's gotten, she's gotten messy now. So we're going to have to uh, get her hair cut. But I'm having an intermittent fasting perfect day. Good morning, Marla. Good morning, Colleen from Michigan. Having a perfect day. Thank you, Colleen. I got my hair cut and they did a few extra little uh, layers and stuff. So um, I'm this. I'm still enjoying the style that she did for me the other day because you know the stylist always does it well. But I look forward, forward to seeing what happens when I do it when I do my own hair. Uh, thank you, thank you. Good morning, Pam. Oh yay! Pam is down thirty eight pounds. Woo! That is awesome. I'm so super excited. Thank you, Pam. Let me let this dog out. So demanding. Okay, so I want to show you what I've got going on right here and why I decided on some of these things for, for food. So I've got my I've got my, my cooler bag here. I don't have anything cooler in it. I don't because I don't like I mean a cold pack. I don't have a cold pack in it because I don't need one. But what I've got in here is I've got I've got three water bottles. I'm gonna be on a golf course today and I don't know how um close bathrooms will be. So I've got three water bottles in here and then I've got one for when I get home today. So that'll be my four water bottles. But in addition to that, I have a spark, okay? And then for breakfast, which I typically eat, uh, awesome Becky, Becky completed week one of work hard, play hard. She's having a perfect day today as well. Good job, Becky, awesome, awesome, awesome. So I chose to have these for breakfast. I'll eat these around eight o'clock. When we are off of the Shibby Show, already in here, I have two scoops of my HealthWise hot chocolate. The reason I did that was because I can sip on this and it will last a good long while while I'm out there on that golf course, okay? So that's why I chose that specific for breakfast. For lunch, what y'all think I'm gonna have for lunch? Oatmeal protein pie. The reason I eat so much of these is because they are extremely satisfying. They're tasty to me and they're satisfying. And I last, I last a long time. I last a long time with that. So that's for lunch. And I don't know what they might be serving for lunch or anything like that. So this is why I go prepared with things that I know I will like. Remember, there's no need to be enamored by food that other people are, are providing, okay? Be very picky, very choosy. Uh, good morning, Cheryl from Clarksville, having a holiday today. 
after seven Tiger 16 days. Wow, celebrating her sister's 89th birthday dinner. Wow, well tell her that we said happy birthday. Please tell her, and that is awesome. I hope you have a great day, lots of fun. Hey Ron, having a perfect day. Good morning, good morning, Becky. I am F day after a holiday. Gotta get back to those flames. That is true. We have got to get back to our flames after a holiday. It takes two perfect days to get back into EFB and then we string as many flame or EFB days together, efficient fat burning days together as we can. And then planned or unplanned, a holiday is coming. And then we get back into EFB after that. So it's a lovely balanced life that we're living. It's so fun. Good morning, Jennifer. About to start walking her miles and miles. It was a year ago that she started this shibby journey. Wow, I did great during the warm months, but slack during winter months. Time to start the weight loss mode again. Yep, Jennifer, and you make sure that that's that set in your journal. That way you won't go over six holidays in a month because you're a little, it'll give you a diet devil if you do, and we don't want that. But good job, Jennifer. I'm glad that you are starting again. Good job. And I can imagine it's pretty cold up there. And I don't know. I mean, I I like warm weather. Okay, and then I have these. I have the K's Protein Pretzel Sticks Cinnamon Toast. I can taste the salt of the pretzel. I can taste the cinnamon and whatever sweetener with the, um, that's supposed to be the cinnamon toast. And I promise you, I can taste butter. I don't know. These things are delicious absolutely delicious so that's a snack and then in here i have one one choco right peanut butter patty so that's an extra so and then when i got get home i'll have dinner so that's what all that is and then i've got my vitamins in here in my little cup you remember those little cups that your bathroom cups but anyway, I got all my vitamins in there so that I can eat that with my breakfast because I don't dare eat it without food because then I might feel funny in the tummy. Um, my, which ones? What have you missed, Pam? And what are you gonna have to try, Becky? So when these things come in, I don't know. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning. Okay, so I was at my mother's house recently, and she gave me this cup right here. Life is sweet. Ain't it cute? And then it's got all of these little sprinkles in here. And here's what I thought about those sprinkles. Those sprinkles are all in the right place. They are unable to be gotten to. <laughs> and that's where we need to keep sprinkles. Keep sprinkles at the store or in a locked container like that one. Okay. The pretzels, yes, yes, you need to try the pretzels. I buy, I buy them at the Shibby Shop. Um, so you can buy them online. But they are the Cinnamon Toast. It's K's, K's Protein Pretzel Sticks, the Cinnamon Toast flavor. Delicious. Yep, Cheryl, it's K's and I find it at the Shibby Shop. Awesome, Michelle. Michelle, I love your dedication. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, so today we're going to read our, our we're on day 54. Y'all, there's only 60 devotions in here. But, uh, good, Becky. I love that. They're delicious. So today's devotion is talking about naysayers. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. It's a long chapter. <laughs> when you hear a big number, you're like, that's a long chapter. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. I'm gonna read it again. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Do what? Stand firm firm. Let nothing move you. Let what move you? Nothing. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the Lord. When? When should you give yourselves fully to the Lord? Always. Because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. What we are doing with Shaboleth is important. 
It is important. Somebody asked me this weekend, I think I'm a little obsessed and I am thinking that that's not healthy to be obsessed. I said, oh yeah, it is. Because she's over 60. Okay, so I said, listen, you got 60 something years to change the habits of. You've got to have some type of healthy obsession with this in order to get it to change. You're whipping it into shape, all right? So it is, it is healthy. And then you know what she said? I really am thinking that I'm coming up with, it's not okay to be so obsessed with this as I am to use it as an excuse. And I thought, I agree with you. I mean, I've got a cup that says hashtag Shibboleth Obsessed, and that's for fun, but I have it on there because that's what keeps me safe. That's what keeps me safe, being focused on it. And that's what this is talking about. Let's be focused. We're going to stand firm, not let anything move us. We're going to always give, our, give ourselves fully to the work of the Lord. This is the work of the Lord. This is the temple, okay? He put people to work creating the temple, taking care of the temple. This is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It's the only one we're got, we've gotten. And guess what? Because you know that your labor, your sacrifice, your planning, like I've gotten this bag right here this morning, is not in vain. It's not in vain. Now, if you don't do it, it doesn't work. It's not magic. It doesn't work if you don't do it. But the work that you do is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15, 5, 58. Let's see. Um, you can have that healthy obsession for your own self. Just don't allow it to change the way you see or treat others. I, that's correct, Colleen. That is correct. Yes. Yes. Okay. So, naysayers is the name of this. I bet there has been a time or two in your life when you've come under the shadow of a naysayer. One of those people who isn't rowing the boat Therefore, they have plenty of time to rock it. They offer criticisms without offering help. They focus on something they don't like rather than seeing the vast amount of goodness they could like. Yep, I suspect a naysayer has tried to poo-poo on you, <laughs> especially during your healthy eating journey. But take heart. They are actually doing you a favor if you'll let them, and I learned this in the strangest of ways. This is from Lisa Turkhurst, Made to Crave Devotional. I was recently in Virginia to appear on the 700 Club when I got a frantic call from home. Apparently, apparently someone flushed too much toilet paper and caused a situation. Okay, I just got to stop right there. Just imagine, that is absolutely hilarious that she is about to be on the 700 club see everybody's living this, this this life she's about to be on the 700 club and people have called her from her house toilet they, they flush too much toilet paper and caused the situation could you imagine that's so funny an overflowage situation you know it's not going to be a good call when you pick up the phone to hear your husband declare we are now a two square family <laughs> No one in this house is allowed to use more than two squares of toilet paper at a time. Mm -mm, no. Oh my, that's hard for a girl, y'all. But it certainly was no time to argue with a man who was ankle deep in toilet water. I love my man. Seriously, I do. Apparently, the water seeped down and around the caulking into the walls and onto the kitchen ceiling. Bummer. The ceiling is now bulging and will most likely fall in. Lovely. But we know some experts who can come in, cut out the sagging parts of the ceiling, patch it up, and put it all behind us. And what might you wonder, does this have to do with naysayers? Here's the thing. Had my husband known about the water coming out of the toilet early enough, he would have shut off the source to stop the unsightly flow. As Jesus followers, we can't let the naysayers in life drown out our excitement, our commitment to healthy eating, and our assignments from Jesus. We have to shut off the source and stop the flow of negativity in our life. 
We have to cock up our cracks of insecurity with the putty of God's truth and assurance. And we have an expert who can cut out the sag in our hearts, patch it up with his sweet mercy, and put the whole thing behind us. The naysayers want to distract us and knock us off course. But God says, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. 1 Corinthians 15, 58. So what, do, what favor do the naysayers do for us? They remind us we're doing something right for Jesus. I'd rather be criticized than ignored. I think Jesus would rather reign in wild Jesus girls kicking up some dust than kick dead quiet mules any day of the week. Phew, I love me some truth. Now, if I can get, if I can just learn to love using only two squares of toilet paper, all the world will be right in the world. There's no way to use just two squares. I'm sorry, there's not. Um, and then we'll, say, we'll go ahead and say her prayer. Dear Lord, please help me to cope with the difficult naysayers in my life. Show me your truth to help me overcome the insecurities that follow me everywhere each day. Give me words, thoughts, and actions that honor and please you. Protect me from, your, from discouragement today. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, if you're in my private group, the Shibby Show. You saw a video, possibly if you watched it, last week talking about ants, automatic negative thoughts. Do you know those can be naysayers? And that's the devil. Those can be naysayers too. So it doesn't have to just be people. It can be those automatic negative thoughts that we don't even want or ask for, but we haven't trained ourselves to get rid of them. So that's what we got to do. We got to train ourselves to get rid of them. And I want to make sure that all of us are focusing on this because focusing on this is, is healthy. It is healthy to focus on something that can improve and change your life. After we accept Jesus, what should we do? We should focus on that, okay? This right here is also going to help you focus on that. Y'all give me some hearts if you think and know and agree with me that eating this healthy lifestyle brings you closer to Jesus. Because you know you're doing the right thing, taking care of his temple. Awesome. Good morning, Diane. She's going to have a perfect day. Thank you for sharing. Y'all, the share button. Bottom left-hand corner of your screen, click it, and then hit the blue share now button, and this will be off into the world. You don't even have to say anything. Just let somebody find it and say, oh, what's this? And they'll hear about Shibboleth, how we eat, and how we love Jesus with the way that we eat. Good morning, Kay Edwards. Good morning, Alice from Staley, North Carolina, a Tiger 16 day. Good morning, Gina. Perfect day. Good morning, Michelle. All right. Well, I hope that y'all have a wonderful and awesome day. If you are near Kennesaw, Georgia, please come to see us tonight at 6 p.m. for class. If you're coming to shop, come early because the store closes at 6 and we have class at 6. And then uh, I have a food combining webinar, the new member food combining webinar tonight at 8 p.m. I'd love for you to join that. If you need a refresh, please join in. It, you cannot hear this too much. You really cannot hear this too much because if you're trying to change habits, it requires a lot of it. And then uh, Dr. Jim will be going live with his prayer corner at 10 this morning. And then he's going to be doing a, a um, grocery store tour at 730. And I think Jason has something going on too. If you are new, you must put on blinders and you must stay in fast track until that is complete and done. Don't even look or get excited at the other things. Just know that they're always going to be there. Everything is recorded. You're not missing anything, but you've got to focus on learning the basics of the lifestyle before you move in, into any advanced things, all right? So just make sure you do that. Good morning, Polly. Hey there. I, I tagged you in my church service yesterday because it was good, and I knew that you would like it. And I tagged you in the one with the good uh, hymn singing. So I hope that you can go back and watch that today. It was really, really good. All right, y'all have a blessed day. 
when you hop off of here, go directly to your journal and you determine your day. Your day does not determine you. So go ahead and journal your day. And if you're watching on replay, please type in hashtag Shibboleth for his glory, his glory. Good morning, Charlene from Michigan. Having a perfect day. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay, I'm glad we're doing this together. Good, Polly. Awesome. Good. I'm glad that you did. It was so good. So good. It could be applied to Shibboleth. Anyway, if y'all want to watch that, it is at burnthickory.com, yesterday's service. It was talking about idols and talking about Jezebel and uh, all of these little G gods of Baal and how we have a lot of them now. We just don't name them. So y'all go watch that. It's at Burnt, it's at, it's at Burnt Hickory on Facebook or on their website. Bye, everybody.